Caterpillar is proud to expand Cat Command technology. We're gonna bring to the small wheel loader family, the 926M, the 930M, and that 938M command for loading. Now you can see the machine behind me here with that blue light telling me as a bystander that that machine is ready to go to work. And the operator who's gonna run it is sitting in a comfortable office in a comfortable environment, ready to put it to work. We, however, are on one of the busiest ports in all of the globe when it comes to a volume perspective here on the Mississippi River. And we are transferring bulk cargo from barges to ships and ships to barge. And loaders play an important role in that. Efficiency on the port is making sure every bucket is full. And this loader's job is pushing up all those scraps to a good healthy stockpile so every bucket comes out full. Now let's talk about some of the values that command for loading brings. We can take a hazardous environment. Here sitting on this barge on the Mississippi River, if you fall in the river, the coastland stat suggests that one in seven folks don't actually come back out. And the most dangerous part of this job is stepping from the derrick crane to the barge. And by eliminating that, dropping this product into the barge, into the ship, and never putting a man or a woman down in that environment, we are dramatically improving the safety aspects of doing this work. Second to that, these folks are working 150 miles of coastland, and that operator sitting comfortably back in the office environment, he can teleport himself upriver, downriver, to wherever that work really is, bringing a very nice level of logistics, simplicity, and ease of work to the environment. Now for folks working around or on command for loading machines, we certainly see as a best practice, open, honest communication with all the folks on the ground or working around those machines and specifically what each of those light codes means. Now one of the benefits of command for loading is you can still run this machine the conventional way from the operator environment, as indicated from the green indicator light on top of the cab. But as you start to commission this machine to be ready for command for loading remote operation, we're gonna go ahead and toggle that over. And we're gonna get 30 seconds worth of three indicator lights. The blue, the green, and the red, all flashing for 30 seconds, giving me time to walk around this machine to make sure it's ready to be commissioned. Now, as that blue light goes solid, that's telling me solid blue light, it is command control ready. And once it's synced up to a command station, safely back in the office, it's gonna start flashing blue. So we know this machine's ready to go to work. With safety being a top priority from the command station, that remote operator can absolutely hit an emergency stop. And for the ground crews working next to a command for load machine, Caterpillar is gonna offer what's called an A-stop, an all-stop. And when that is toggled, it's gonna to kill every remote operated machine within its broadcast radius. And the last indicator light, the red. If an E-stop, emergency stop from the command station is triggered. If an A-stop, all-stop here from the ground crew is triggered, that light is gonna go red to indicate that there's something that needs to be resolved before this machine goes back to work. We'd like to invite you to learn more about CAT Command and Command for Loading on Small Loaders by talking with your local CAT dealer or going online to cat.com command. Now let's do the work.